First up on your feet at five, it's a live look at Cleveland's lakefront. It is one of our greatest assets that we all love. If you came downtown at all for the NFL draft, you probably noticed it looked and felt more vibrant than ever. Now there is a plan to keep that feeling alive. Romney Smith joins us now with details on what makes this current plan different from the many plans that we've seen in the past that obviously were never adapted. Hello, Romney. Good afternoon to you. Hey, Jay. Good afternoon. This plan is different because it's not just the city of Cleveland. It's also the Haslam's, the owner of the Cleveland Browns, getting behind the project and giving it support. Now, the goal is to connect all of the gems downtown, like First Energy Stadium, where the Browns play, the Science Center, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and the waterfront to make one big cohesive space that's attractive and easily accessible. Take a look at these renderings. It shows a really wide land bridge for pedestrians that will connect Mall C, one of the biggest green spaces downtown, to the lakefront. The plan is pretty massive, and it would be a multi-year construction project if it's approved and funded. This afternoon, the architecture firm that worked on these renderings presented the idea to the Cleveland City Council Finance Committee. The city filed an application just last month with ODOT to secure six and a half million dollars to move forward with engineering expenses, which is phase one of the plan. City Council President Kevin Kelly tells me he has a really good feeling about the request for funding. I, whenever I think about applications that are in with the state, um, and why we should have a leg up is that, you know, we generate so much income for the state to their general fund that they need to like really prioritize, you know, the urban centers, especially the city of Cleveland in terms of, you know, making sure that our economic activity keeps going because the state's got an interest in that. Keep in mind, if this project is approved and funded, it would take years to come to fruition because they have to go over railroad tracks, build out the entire plan that includes green space, an expanded waterfront park, new mixed-use buildings, a parking garage, and more. Jay will know if the proposal for money was approved in August. All right. I guess these things move very slowly. That's one thing we've learned through the years. Rom, those images are fantastic, but I'm sure... They come at a very, very steep price tag. How much is this going to cost? Yeah, you're right. It has a nine-figure price tag of $229 million, and that's the early projection if they stay within budget, and we all know how construction projects are. Yeah, they rarely do. $229 million. All right, Romney Smith, live on What's New. Romney, thanks.